Hi everyone, my name is Jeannie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to discuss with you some of the main reasons why I have chose to uh, quit Nikon and became a Fuji shooter. So for those of you who are interested to know a little bit more about my story, just stay with me. When I started being a bit more serious about photography around like 10, 11 years ago, I bought my brand uh, new camera. It was a Nikon D5000. It was my first ever DSLR. I paired this with a 70 to 300 uh, zoom lens. And then over time I switched over to um, Nikon D7000. And then eventually my last um, my last, Nik last Nikon system was the D500, Nikon D500 coupled with the Nikon D750. So I was using my D500 mainly to do my landscape and uh, wildlife photography. And this system was really great for me. I have nothing wrong to say about Nikon. It was amazing, very good quality. Um, everything was there for me pixel, uh, everything was there except the weight. It was such a heavy weight for me to carry around every day. I was going out in the field, waiting sometimes for hours, standing to like for birds or animal to, to come out of the bush or something like that. And I started to have back problems. So what I did is that I started to search the web and then I came across all kinds of different systems, Sony, Pentax, uh, Panasonic, name it. And I finally settled, I made my choice on the Fuji ecosystem. And this is the best decision I've ever made. So I started by buying the Fuji X-H1. I was loving the grip of the Nikon, the Nikon D500 and D750 that I had, it had a deep grip and I did not want to move into an ecosystem with too small of a camera, even though I wanted to have less of a weight. I still wanted to have a good grip. So I bought the X-H1 and I also bought the 100 to 400 Fuji um, zoom lens, which is absolutely amazing. So this is my, uh, my first combo that I bought. And then eventually I also bought the Fuji X-T4 XT4 in the last few months and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, this camera can take um, 20 frames a second when I shoot bird, wildlife and stuff like this. It is absolutely amazing. It has 26 uh, megapixel. And um, yeah, for me, it is a great ecosystem. It is much lighter than uh, the Nikon that I was using before, which was, as I said, so heavy for me. And of course, I love, I absolutely love about, about the, um, the Fuji uh, is the, um, the color profile. So I always shoot my pictures raw all the time, but then in Lightroom, I can always apply the, the, pro, the color profile that I want to my raw pictures, so it's amazing. And for people that are not so familiar with um, with uh, picture retouching in Lightroom, you can always shoot JPEG and your pictures, the, the quality of the pictures are great straight out of the camera. So it is absolutely amazing. I know that a lot of people go to Fuji, they switch over to Fuji for the color profile they have in the camera. And for me, I mean, this was not the reason why I went, but it was one of the reasons that attracted me. Apart from the fact that it was mirrorless, it was um, a lot lighter as a system, and it is very robust as well. Those cameras are made of magnesium alloy. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are built like tanks. Very, very nice camera. This is the X-H1 here which has become my second body now. I use more the X-T4. For me, as I said, I would, I never regretted selling all of my Nikon lenses, even though I had like six, I think, lenses because I, I am not only a, a wildlife and bird photographer, this is my biggest passion and I do a lot of this in my work, but I also do portrait and macro and all kinds and, and landscape. So I had the all ecosystem of Nikon and I had to sell all of my lenses it was quite expensive to rebuy into um, a new ecosystem, a new um, brand, 
but I never regret it. So my I would recommend to anyone who's hesitating right now. Also, a lot of people are switching to mirrorless camera because they are a lot less heavy than full frame camera. Of course, it has nothing to do. You can have a full frame and it can be a mirrorless system. But for me, DSLR, I would never go back to DSLR system. Uh, and I know that some people are still hesitating and they think that DSLR, you can only have pro uh, quality pictures with DSLR, but this is so not true. I mean, we are in 2020 now and mirrorless cameras have come a long ways and they are some of the best cameras ever out there are mirrorless cameras right now. So for those of you who are wildlife photographers, and you have to carry a system sometimes for hours with you and shoot and held. Also, this is like for me, this was also a big point is that when I was shooting with my D500, I my um, my zoom lens was not a Nikon. It was uh, Tamron 150 to 600 milli millimeters. And it was so heavy that I could barely and hold it at the time. I always have had to have a tripod with me and you know that you're not as flexible with a tripod as if you can uh, if you can shoot and eld and with those this Fuji system I can just have my camera like this for hours in my hand with my uh, 100 400 um, zoom lens and it's absolutely amazing of course at the end of the day when you come home you're a little bit like stiff and you're relieved to take it off but it is nothing compared to the nikon uh, dslr that i used to shoot with so this is what i had to say today about this if ever you would like me to talk a little bit more in depth about the fuji xh1 or the 100 to 400 zoom lens if you're contemplating the, the this camera this ecosystem also the fuji xt4 which is the brand new camera the latest that fuji uh, just launched i think they just launched a, a smaller one after that but like for wildlife and stuff it is pretty amazing so if you want me to talk a little bit more in depth if you have questions about this camera i will be very happy to uh, to give you any advices or to answer your questions that you have and also i will put some samples um, pictures sample pictures that you can see of uh, the work that i that i do with those cameras so it can give you a little um overview of what you can achieve with those cameras. It's the only uh, advice I can give you that if you are contemplating doing such a switch, such, such a big, big decision, well, I just uh, can say go and do it for yourself. You will not regret it. So thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, please just write them down below. If you're asking yourself if you should do this move, if this is something you're contemplating as well for yourself, just write me any comments, anything you would like me to go more in depth about. I will be very happy to answer you and to show you some more example of what you can achieve with those two cameras. So thank you again. See you soon. Bye bye.